Thank you for your interest in pie tape precision diameter measuring tapes. The following video will instruct you on the proper care and methodology to ensure accurate readings. These instructions are for the use of outside diameter tapes marked in millimeters. Make certain the tape is free of damage and the tape and the object to be measured are both clean. Wrap the tape around the object to be measured. Slide the tape back and forth so the tape is wrapped evenly on the part to be measured. Tighten the tape around the object with 2.25 kilograms tension for outside diameter tapes. Tension scales can be used and are available for purchase at pytape.com. The vernier scale should be just below the gauge scale. Each line on the gauge member represents 0.5 millimeters, while each line on the vernier scale represents 0.01 millimeters. Locate the zero on the vernier scale and note the highest value achieved on the gauge scale above it, which is the highest value to the left of the zero. In this example, the value is 508.50 millimeters. Next, observe the vernier scale's value at the point where it lines up exactly with a marked division line on the gauge scale. In this example, the value is 37. Finally, to obtain the diameter of the object, simply add the two values together, 508 0.50 plus 0.37 millimeters equals 508.87 millimeters. As a suggestion for checking very large diameters, pieces of masking tape can be used to hold the tape in the proper parallel position. In many applications, magnets can also be used. When not in use, wipe the tape clean and apply a light rust preventive oil. Store the tape in the canister provided. Pi tape gauges are calibrated at 68 degrees Fahrenheit and are guaranteed to 0.03 millimeters up to 3,600 millimeters. Each tape comes with a calibration report traceable to the National Institute of Standards.